There's a lot of reverb in this room. And I would like to change that. Because I will be recording all my videos in here, so I would like to have a slightly better sound. But how do we kill this echo? So the best way to do that would be to take some measurements to know exactly the frequency response of the room and then take the appropriate acoustic treatment. But we're not going to do that. I want that project to be cheap while being as efficient as it can be and I also want it to require as little tool as possible. Because I've seen a lot of homemade acoustic panel projects and it often requires you to cut, screw and glue some wood and I don't want to do that. I want it to be easier than that. I want to start from the principle that I don't have any tool at home. Though I still have the stapler that I borrowed from my dad, which would be very handy, but that's pretty much all I have. So cheap and easy, but still efficient. How are we going to do that? There are two types of acoustic treatments, absorption and diffusion. And I think the best here would be to go for absorption. So I would just have to bring some big soft lumps of materials and stick them to my wall to kill the reverb. And the best materials to do that, I guess, would be the materials that are already used in house isolation, like rock wool, glass wool, or some cotton linen mix. There are some very absorbent materials, so they should do the job just right, and it's easy to buy in bulk. So to cover a large surface, it's probably a very cost-efficient solution. For me, the easiest to get was the rock wool, so I got a big pack of 10 panels. They are 1 meter and 35 centimeters tall for 60 centimeters wide, and 7.5 centimeters thick. All right, so I have the absorbent materials, so now I have to make it look nice and I have to find a way to hang it on my walls. So to make it look nice, I have some black cloth so I can wrap it in that. And to give it some structure and hang it on my walls, I have some three millimeter thick uh, MDF wood that I got cut down to the same size than my panels. So the plan is to lay some cloth on the floor, then put the rock wool and then the MDF wood on it and wrap the whole thing with the cloth. And then I'll staple the cloth to the wood with the stapler. Then to actually put it on the wall, I want to try this double-sided adhesive tape to see if I can make it hang on the wall without making any holes in it. It's supposed to be a very strong one, so let's see if it's strong enough. And I think we have everything. So I have enough to make 10 panels, so let's build them and then I'll see where I can put them in the room. But just before I begin, I'll put on a mask, gloves and glasses, because rock wool makes a lot of mineral dust and it's important to protect your eyes and your lungs when you're working with it. So let's crack on. Okay, it's been maybe three weeks now and I've put only one panel above the sofa so far because I wanted to see if the adhesive tape was strong enough. Because I will put a panel above my TV, above my synth and above my computer and I don't want the panels to fall and break everything. But now this one is still holding up strong more than a few weeks later, so I'm more confident to install the other panels now. I'll put them all over the room quite evenly to cover as much space as possible. So I'll put two here, one here and one there one over here, then three in a row on this wall. So now I have nine panels installed and for the last one I can either put it above my bookshelves or above the sofa with this one. Thing is, to put it above the sofa I would have to reposition the panel and the tape would probably not stick as much and I would have to change it. And I don't have this extra tape. But for science, let's do that anyway and see what this kind of adhesive tape can do to your wall when you take it off. It's actually pretty hard to take the panel off the wall. The adhesive tape is indeed very strong and it stretches a lot when you pull on it. This process took me about half an hour and I got a little impatient in the end. You can see I damaged the back of the panel by going a bit too fast, but if you're careful, you can manage to have very light damage on your panels. Now, the real question is, does it damage the wall? So I need to take the remaining tape off the wall, which also takes a bit of time, but once it's done, the wall seems to be quite good. No particular damage to report, so I'd say it seems to be a good solution for a rented place. Okay, so in the end, how does it sound? Does it make any difference? So cheap and easy, but still efficient. How are we going to do that? I don't know, and I hope so. I am a bit nervous. So to compare with the first footage, same position of the camera and the mic, hand clap. How does it sound from a distance? There's a lot of reverb in this room. And what about at mid-range? I will be recording all my videos in here, so I would like to have a slightly better sound. Can we hear any difference? And I would like to change that. How does it sound? I haven't looked at the footage yet, so please tell me what you think. Well, it's not that bad actually. It's not too obvious in some shots and the voice in the front doesn't change that much, but in the background you can hear a lot of this reverb has been taken off. 
It's more obvious with the claps because it's a very short sound, so we can hear better the tail of the reverb. I need to add something as well. You may have noticed that none of my panels are straight, they are all a bit crooked. I promise I did the best I could and it triggers me at least as much as you. Maybe it's a lesson that sometimes our best is not enough, but it shouldn't stop us though. Because in the process we learned, and the main objective to have less reverb in this room is complete. So in the end, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now I feel more comfortable to do all the videos I'd like to make, and the list is quite long. So I'm just gonna do that, and in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>